Hi guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new episode of Human Resource Machine. Last time off, we wrote a ridiculously large program to um, get the speed of this equalization room here. Today we're going to tackle the maximization room though. Let's see if we can uh, make this a little bit more efficient. So as always, let's um, copy our solution over there. Alright, so... So we want the bigger of the two into the outbox. So how many do we need to reduce this by? Um. Oh, so we need to do both on this. Okay. So to reduce it by one there and reduce it by four on the speed. Okay, so... Uh, okay, so if it's negative... If it's negative, it's the bigger number. Do it in ten steps. I'm sure Team Spend said something like uh, towards the beginning of the series about um, about the jumps. I can't remember what he said. It's a shame that like, there's no command like to see if you've got nothing in your hand for a start. So the problem with removing that jump is that we'll copy from one if it's not negative, but then we will copy the negative number as well. I mean, that's something else we could do. I mean, I don't know if that reduces the... Like, the still 11 steps, but I don't know if it reduces like the... Sorry, size is still 11, but I don't know if it rem reduces the steps. Reduce the steps by one. Okay. So, I mean, we could reduce that further by doing this. That should then reduce the speed again by another one. So we need to reduce it by another two still. How can we make it more efficient? Again, all, all I'm coming back to is the, what we did in the previous episode, which was write a ridiculously long segment of code. But I really don't think... Because we have effectively have like four numbers, right? If I copy this out twice, maybe, maybe...
it's negative. Zero. Outbox it. Jump back around. So that's still 36. off. So why don't I get rid of that, get rid of that, and from here, jump up to there. I don't think it's going to be any. I don't think it's going to make any difference, to be fair. It's actually increased it by one. Take out the jump. Get rid of one. Just reposition the jump. Do anything? Does that mean I've just got to do two jumps? Does that? I have a feeling this might increase it by one, so I'm going to like do two jumps. Nope, we're still good. We're still good. Soul outbox command, though. That one's then going to come back up to here. Get rid of that one. Now it's increased it again. Damn it, we should have copied that. Thank you. 
that's annoying. Just one step. I need to take one step out. How can I remove a step? People are probably screaming at me in the comments about how dumb I am being. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas. Um, what I have here. I want to get back to the solution where it's like one off. Broke it good and proper now. All right, so I'm not sure about the size, how to cut out one. So don't actually tell me Alright, let's move on to a different one That one's 
All right. Absolute positivity. Let's see if we can do something better on this one. Um, so we need to use eight and ten less steps. All right, so oops. that would be my headset dying. Well, I really need my headset on, but hey, I like the jazzy music, so I want my headset on. Thank you. Uh, right, so um, If a number is negative, hold on, what is this actually doing here? Outbox. Copy to zero. Copy the original. Alright, so why am I doing that? So if it's negative, subtract from itself, which will give me zero. Subtract from zero again. Right? Alright, well, let's fix the size challenge. I really need to go back to YouTube and read that comment that um, Team Spend left me. It was something about jumping in the outbox. Because I feel like the outbox, jumping at the outbox is where a lot of the issues come from. I mean... You could kind of get around it in a fashion by doing something like... That, right? To avoid like the last jump. That's only gonna like reduce it by There we go. There we go. Okay. Interesting. Alright, countdown. Here 19. Q Carol of Ordinant. Um Alright, so what do we need to do here? 14. Uh, so we use 14, we need 10, and we need to do it in 82. Zero. to here. I think this is what he was talking about. It's like, rather than going all the way back to there, if you put an inbox in, it kind of like prevents the jump at the end of the program. Could be what our, um, Team Spin was talking about. So let's see what this does. Hmm. 
Oh uh, yeah, and we um, already straight off the bat realised we didn't copy the programme first. That's easily fixed, right, by doing that. Doing that. And jump into there. I think that's what we had before. Let's try it. Copy. Paste. Thank you. All right, so. Again, though, let's do that first. Maybe I need like a subroutine. So where am I jumping to? Here, aren't I? So if I copy from there. I don't think I want that one anymore. Negative. Increment. If it's not increment, jump to here. If it's zero, put it to the out box, grab something from the inbox, jump back round. Else we want to go to there, right? Hundred and sixteen. Need to reduce it by like eighteen. 34 steps. Okay. Okay. 
Right, inbox, copy to there, send it to the outbox. Copy from zero. If it's zero. If it's zero, go there. Jump back to there. If it's negative, then we're going to bump it, and then we're going to do that. If it's not, we want to bump it and do that Alright, let's step into this. Two. Two. It's not zero. It's not negative. Subtract one. Oh, I'm doing sub and I want to do bump. say. Alright, well it's the most optimal one yet, but the speed, the steps has actually gone, the steps has actually gone up a count rather than coming down. So how can we like remove So we have to copy it before we send it to the outbox. take two commands off here. I have to read... Why do I copy it though there? Instead of doing that, we have to copy it though, because if we don't copy it, we don't know whether or not we need to. Without copying it and picking it up, we won't know whether or not it's positive or negative. I was going to say, we could like bump it down initially, but... Unless we did something like this as well. Uh, 
I don't want to jump to... I want to jump to there. This will only like, affect the steps, it won't affect the size. This will reduce the steps at all, actually. Well, at least I think now I think I understand more what Team Spend meant when he said about the outbox, like making the outbox like one of the first commands. Hundred and eighteen. So we've gone two steps over anyway. Alright guys, well we'll come back to trying to uh, optimise some of these. If you've got any comments, as always, please let me know in the comments. Because um, some of these I am really struggling with, I'll be honest, to the optimization. Other than like, like I did on the last episode, like make a massive long program, which is just like the same command repeated over and over again, which is very unoptimized. I am not really sure. But guys, thank you very much for watching. Until next time though, I've been Ock, you've been awesome. See ya.